You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black, and you ain't black, okay. and you ain't black, yeah, 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 yeah. and you ain't black, and you ain't, 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 and you ain't black. Damn, damn, Biden, going hard on that pintura. What's that? Paint. Pintura. 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 Damn, huh? That's wild. These people. What? What do you think about that? Uh, what was it? Was it out of context? Obviously, like all those things are taken out of context, right? No, he's talking to Charlemagne the God. and uh, Oh, so he is black. And he is black. Yeah. Uh, he's an African-American, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he was there talking. He was just basically, it was at the end of the conversation. And he's like, He's like, we'd love for you to come in studio and, you know, we can have more questions for you and everything. And then Biden just like, oh, if you have more questions for me, then obviously, you know, then he made that whole that whole statement. Oh, gotcha. And he's like, then you ain't black. And you, you ain't think black. You're, and he's like, it's not about Trump or anything. It's like we have. Quite, Did he like, reply? Charlamagne always yeah. kind of. Yeah. He's smart. He's a smart guy. He's yeah. really interesting to listen to. Um, oh, but that clip listen. made me laugh. I yeah, just if I funny. I feel like we give Biden almost more shit than Trump, and it's not that I'm a Trump supporter. I just feel like Biden's just such a fucking lunatic. I mean, yeah. it's so unreal to me that yeah. he's going to be... It's just no filter. He ain't going to be nothing, dude. No filter, no... I don't know. It's like a computer without a hard drive. You know just what no, I mean? No storage. No storage, yeah. no just... Yeah. No memory. You can like maybe kind of turn it on and go to MS Paint. <laughs> Or something like that. (laughs) But even then, you can't, like... You just draw, like, a little kid. Yeah. And smell it. Scratch and sniff it. But I don't know. I just thought that was a funny question. Yeah, Biden does get... And it is funny, like, how people... I don't know. I think everybody has, a like, their Trump... You know, everybody bashes on Trump, too. It's not like he... But I guess it doesn't doesn't mean that... We both... We both bash... Both sides equally, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like Trump's just so t- so tired by this point. Right. Like, well, I, can, everything he says, you can, but that's the same thing with Biden. But I don't, something about Biden, I think you know what it is, is I think. He's a pedophile? Yeah. That yeah. for sure. <laughs> no, what I, else? I, I, What's I, another? <laughs> for, for me personally, I think after all this, you know, Corona shit, and I've always been left leaning, and I feel like. This has pushed me super moderate of being like, I don't know. I think is I would I would have always considered myself a liberal, but now it's not possible for me to because I'm like, I feel like you're being a hypocrite if you're not putting the same amount of hatred and questioning mm-hmm. into who's representing that party at this point. Pelosi, Biden, all the all these crazy kind of things that are happening. Characters, your, character, yeah, yeah, these characters that are the head of leftism and then you're saying well it's still better than the other side or better than the it's like i is it it? fuck who knows man i think if anything it just it's the polar opposite of now and and just the word like cnn is the new fox news right well then also if you say something about it's like oh so you like trump yeah so you're you're sucking on trump's not you'd like that (laughs) daddy trump check right like you know it's like everybody's so extreme in their you know reaction to Mm -hmm. what you like or or don't like, or bash, or don't bash. Right. I don't know, man. I don't it's, know. It's either. just so fucking, you know, thin ice. It's just wild. We're all that up on thin ice. It's wild that this is where the world's come to. You know, like I've, I have to bring a mask to work if I go to the bathroom and stuff. And just, it's like, I would have never thought at some point in my life I'd be like washing and drying a mask. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I know. My wife just did that too. Yeah. And I was like, that's kind of weird. It's Super kinda, it's, strange. Yeah, it's like, what world or what movie are you in, dude? What? But it's also strange because I feel like we essential workers were we were in the devil's dick of it for you know the two months when everybody was locked up and not leaving their house. Oh yeah, that we were and during the fear and pando- pandonium, pando- pandemonium, pandemonium, we were still going to work kind of regular, but yeah, all this stuff outside was scaring us. So I'm like, it feels weird now because. I was more afraid. I mean, obviously, you were more afraid when everything was in lockdown. But, like, I would go to the Safeway with, like, gloves on and stuff like that. Yeah. 
or think about like, should I wear a, like wearing a mask and not wearing a mask? And you know, we, I know we talked about this last week, but it just, it feels weird to me. Cause like now I feel like I'm my, I, I don't know my fear of it. And I, it's, I hate the whole thing. It's like, dude, it's not because I'm tired of the pandemic that I don't believe in it. Mm. I still feel like there's a safe way to go about things. Like I'm not talking about the Ozark. Did you see like all the people partying over Memorial <laughs> day weekend? Yeah, no, I didn't hundreds see that. and hundreds yeah, of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, that's probably not a good idea. Probably dude. not, dude. But like I said, everybody's over this. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, is tired of wearing their gloves for two weeks while they were, you know, scared because of the media and all that. Well, that's like, the thing. It's like CNN said two million people would be dead by now. The CDC just said a week ago that it doesn't actually live on surfaces. Yeah, like what? Like that was what we what were all fucking, fucking freaked out about. Merry go round, are we in? Yeah, dude? we were like, lysling our grocery store groceries mm, right. outside of our house, yeah. taking our clothes off before we entered the house. All this crazy stuff. So it's that's my issue with is like I don't know what to believe, and I feel like you become. I become the um, like a target of being like you're not wearing a mask in here. You're not. Too, I'm like I don't fucking know what. You get to- funny looks. Yeah, going out. Yeah, like grocery store shopping and all that. I honestly, I, I probably just don't pay attention to him. But yeah, well, I'm always a little high. Yeah. Well, I just feel like there's a weird energy. There's a weird energy that you can feel in places, right? Speaking a little high. Bowl resin. Got a little bit of bowl resin. Salute, here. doggy. Well, here, hold Thank on. You. Let me actually salute you with well, this. Well, so it doesn't live on surfaces. Fuck it. We can make out. I don't think that's still advised. Though those pictures of some of the Memorial Day parties are pretty wild. Though. Yeah, yeah. Well, the pictures, dude. Right when shit opened, the bars were crowded. Oh, Does good. that really surprise you? No, it's a lot better. Really cold, but no, but it, it is good. Surprise me. Tastes a little bit like bong water, if you ask me. And I love some good bong water. I usually smoke uh, bongs with milk. Oh, really? Yeah. You just pour it into your cereal afterwards. It's a re- it's actually really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a wake and bake, and then you got breakfast. Exactly. Fifty halfway served. You know, it's double double yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. With onions, bitch. Yeah. Animal style. But yeah, Grilled. getting judged by not wearing a mask. You know what's hilarious to me? People wearing their fucking cars driving. That's no, so dumb. <clears throat> so stupid. And then the other day, my wife. Why don't you just die? You know, die. Yeah. Fucking get hit by a car. <laughs> Okay. No, no, you Old said that, not me. Stupid piece of shit wearing a mask <laughs> inside of a car, dude. Did my wife was like almost passing out because she couldn't breathe the other day. Well, it's tell the... her to work on her breathing, okay? <laughs> it's not that difficult. No, it's the fucking mask. <laughs> That's not that di- it's involuntary. That's how not difficult it is. Yeah. Everybody that's... knows how to do that. I know. I remember in a church camp kind of thing, they taught us like you should be so grateful cuz you know, you don't have to think about blinking and breathing. And that's still stuck with me. Like, because you started thinking about it, like, what is like, what if we had to always constantly think about bl- blinking and just breathing? being aware of, like, oh, my eyes are a little dry. Let me, yeah, let me bat them a bit. So, thank you, JC Dog. <laughs> JC, thanks Boy, for looking right out. behind you right there. Yo, dog. dog. <laughs> always looking out, always, dude, dude from Could day one. Imagine? From day one, do you think there's a couple of people that he forgot to do that to when he, when he created them and they were just walking around with dry eyes? Sometimes blinking, not blinking, just... Yeah, who knows, maybe. Forgetting to breathe. I think they just killed themselves, dude. Maybe that was, raw, that was like, what's up with... Uh, the Smiths. Cain and Abel. Oh. You know, Cain killed... Abel's like, dude, I can't take this anymore. And Cain well, actually... banging his mom. Well, dude... Save some pussy for the, me and dad, you know? Yeah, I guess. Both the brothers they kept gotta, be banging have, mom. They had some goats, dude. Well, the thing is that Abel, who who killed who? Cain killed Abel. So Abel was better at power slamming his mom, obviously. Oh, yeah. He was the power Abel driver. Abel had that extra inch, oh, boy. Oh, dude. Abel had that extra yeah, inch. Yeah, dude. His mama's favorite. Dude. You know? Bender over the Abel, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's what they used to say. So uh, that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, to be honest with you. I kind of just made that up. But I, I could see. I mean, I'm a what, jealous what'd person. What did you make up? Oh, that Kane was made. Yeah, I mean, if somebody yeah. else is banging who well, you're... Well, how did we populate, you're... dude? You believe in the fucking evolution theory? That's so dumb, Stupid, dude. From dude. monkeys? So of course, monkeys? either Kane or Abel were both banging their parents. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, along Bo- with wait, Papa. parents, plur- oh. Along with Papa, yeah. He was there, too? They just ran a train on fucking... Jesus, dude. I mean, whoa, well, I mean... Eve, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, dude. Banging something with your dad. Yeah, that's true, because porn, sometimes they go stepmom, Ooh, daughter. Stepmom. stepmom, daughter. Which I don't know. I mean, I, I feel fine. I'd do it. Mm. You know? But the dad... How old's the stepmom? They don't see that very often, here? though. You don't see very you much, like, dad-son porn. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, want to go run a train on this MILF? Yeah, well... But yeah, dad. 
I got nothing I'm else sure going there's on. Some on uh, fucking subreddit on that. How so. about how about a threesome with two sisters? Because that's hot. It's hot for the third person, but the sisters. It's I don't know. Yeah, weird, it's kind of right? weird. Yeah, yeah. Like you're making yeah. out with your sissy. Yeah, I know. It's well, little, no, it's a little it's Abel a, and Caney. I mean, you do that, but you're a male and she's a. Well, female. there's only two of us there. Yes, yeah, so, but that's what I'm saying. It's, I know, yeah. but it's like you already do that, so it's not that weird making out with your sissy. But bring but, the other sister there. Yeah. And it's your sister. Well, yeah. I'm not talking about complete and incest threesome, you fucking pervert, <laughs> oh, dude. Okay? Oh, sorry, dude. That's too sorry. far. That's too far. This isn't foster that brother, care. Brother, sister's okay? good. This isn't foster yeah. care orgies. Where'd we get you? It's a different the website. orphanage? <laughs> yeah. That's not funny. That's messed up, dude. I was from an orphanage. Sorry, from the bottom of the orphanage, now I'm here. Yeah? Yeah, dog. What if one day your parents did come out and be like, yo, Nick, we probably waited a little too long to tell you this. Yeah. Well, no shit. I'm 32. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you waited for my 30-second birthday? You were adopted. How would you feel? How would that make you feel? I mean, they were my, my parents. So Yeah. You don't see color is what you're saying. I mean, I don't know. Because some people, it just really destroys them. Yeah. I don't know if it would for me because I'd be like, well, first of all, at this point, because like I said, I'm way too old. So it's like I don't have right. this insecurity being like, oh, why did my mom, yeah. original mom and dad leave me to the orphanage or why did they adopt Maybe me or give it up? I'm like, I don't care. Like they were my parents for right. this many years. So it's like. And continue to be still. And, yeah. yeah. Unless they were like, OK, now 32. We're not your real parents. Here are your real parents. And then they dip out of the picture. Maybe I'd be a little uh, more like. Well, see, I don't think. Abandonment would, issues. Yeah. You know, right? That'd and maybe people should wait till their son or daughter on or their deathbed child is <laughs> at least twenty five. No, I mean, like 20, I, w- I would say, yeah, just keep all your secrets developed. till the deathbed. You're, you're more <laughs> developed, dude. As a person, you don't have the insecurities, like you said. You don't have the yeah. Am I? You're not trying to prove like, am I good enough for you, or am I making you proud? Or but you it's know? a right for the kid to know, though, isn't it? Yeah, man. But you're young and dumb, dude. So. And I'm not saying, like, at the time. I'm not calling you young and dumb. I'm saying at the time, it's like. Well, I mean, when I was 25, like you said, if that was a proposed age, I would already, I was already like, I didn't have parents. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was already like, fuck, fuck y'all. So you were from the Fuck y'all. Too. If y'all don't like me. Uh-huh. I'm out. What's that go like? Is that an Eminem song? What is that? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't listen to rap, dude. Obviously, you're not black, okay? Yeah, you ain't black. <laughs> you ain't black. And if you calling me back, you ain't black. God, he's the worst. Yeah, he is. One how is of that the? Worst the human being. Okay, so the Republicans. How is that a candidate? <laughs> how is we're that a leaning how into the politics. And today, and today let's on see, it's like, how, KTAR how, News, welcome to <laughs> another episode of Dude. Who Do You Think You Are podcast when Nick is going hard. Well, man, we the ended with Trump and we're like, how out of all the Republican candidates four years ago? It's the same exact, it's the exact fucking opposite. It's like if you stepped into the mirror and you came out the other side, the, the Democrats are doing exactly what the Republicans did. They're not yeah. listening to the Dude, base. They not are supporting the same. people. That yeah. was the whole thing. Yeah. Make everybody a Democrat. Get everybody on the left side. And Dude. then, like, switch it up on them. It's called the left and the right. Because that baby can't... USA can't fly without both those wings, dog. That's true, dog. It's because it's cut from the same cloth. Yeah. You, know? you connect it. Those wings is connected to a body. And then he's like... His whole thing is like, I want a, wo- uh, a woman to run as vice president. Which is fine. But the fact that that's the requirement, it's so much virtue. Oh, it's signal. not the like requirement, just... dude. He's doing it to get them woman votes. Well, that's the thing for the black votes, too. That's why he said that. Yeah. He just didn't realize yeah. how much of a fucking idiot he's out He's like. fishing, man. He's casting out there and seeing who he's reeling in. God. I and don't, do. don't doubt it. He is reeling in a lot of people. But what are you smoking on there? What do you got? <sighs> Uh, I think it's a sour apple. I don't know. Sour apple. Yeah. You know, those are my favorite apples. Green apples are my favorite apples. Really? Yeah. You're crazy. Why? They're the best. They're gonna, not too sweet. Go. They're on the little tarty side. Mm. They have a sweetness You're to it. You're on the tarty side. Well, <laughs> you must enjoy Woo! it. You must enjoy it because we're 97 episodes yeah, deep, boy. We're 98, baby. Is this 98? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Isn't that crazy? I don't know, dude. Okay, pink lady. Pink ladies are good. Pink ladies are good. Fuji. Fuji's are good. I do pink lady over Fuji. Honey crisp. Oh, honey crisp was probably over the three. Um, Number one, honey crisp right now. Honey crisp. Uh, fuck. What? Are, give me some more. Give me some more apples. Um, I know there's more. 
There's got to be more. You want to look up a list of apples? Yeah, hit, hit me. Well, it's going to take a while because you're weefy. Okay. Do but it. green apples. Do you like green green apples? I, I mean, I don't love them. I love them, man. I don't know what it is. I had one today, actually. Oh, yeah? Is that before or after the chicken nuggets? Okay, ga- gala? Oh, gala apples are good. I'm just saying, dude. Green apples, we already found number one this for me. This is bullshit list, dog. So we already listed the good ones. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah. I mean, Ambarosa, Pink Pearl. Ambarosa sounds like sock. a good stripper. Oh, an opal apple. Have you had opal apples? Yep. They're really good. Yep. I like opal. Cortland. Cortland. Bra- yeah. Brayburn. Robburn. Is that how you say it? Those are good. Red Delicious Garbage. Su- yeah. Super uh, mealy. Mm. This is a terrible conversation. Let's talk about something else. Gold Spur apples. Those are green ones. Did you ever? I smoked weed for my first time out of an apple. Is that your first experience too? Out of out of an apple? Yeah. Did you eat the apple afterwards? No, I didn't eat the apple. Why not, dude? I remember so I'm in the backyard, lovely girlfriend at the time, sitting next to the fence, about to smoke marijuana for the first time, dude. A little what nervous. What was running through your head? Yeah. I, was, I mean, I was 19, I think. You were 19. 19. Were you banging this chick? Oh yeah, we were dating. Okay. She was. She liked it. She got and she got me into smoking. I didn't like mm. smoking for probably ten to fifteen times. Why? What What preconceived notion did you have on it? Well, I mean, I was sober my whole high school career. That's what people say. Um, they yeah. don't, but that's what I, I was length, sober. Yeah. Because I don't. I was really invested Ninth in music, um, and then <clears throat> I had some friends, and they would. Their whole life became consumed with it. Like, okay. And it felt. Yeah, I, I felt like it changed this. them yeah. in this weird way. Like every weekend, it wasn't about hanging out. It's about going. To, I get it now, though. I'm yeah. a fucking idiot. Like I wish <laughs> you know. But I think it was good for me to not kind of get into it when I was younger. Mm. I think it was beneficial for you me. You would have gone more a self-destructive route, you think? Maybe, man. Or just... Or maybe falling in it harder because yeah. I are still falling in it hard. Bro, you know? you'd have been a heroin addict. I mean, I, I had a friend that died from heroin. Damn. Played music with him. And so there's... Uh, I was just thinking if I had any friends that died with heroin. Yeah, I'm but... I'm sure I did. Oh, well. Um, so what were we talking about? <laughs> Not drink, uh, so what was going through my head? So yeah, I was sober my whole high school career and I didn't, it just didn't, I don't know. I How did she convince you? She didn't really convince me at that point. You were just like, let me try it. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was open for it gotcha. by, by that point. Cause right. I think we drank for my first time too, maybe a couple of weeks before. Oh, okay. And that really shattered the whole, like I felt. I had this whole other, I mean, you think about with drugs or alcohol, you see it, how it's con- construed in like movies and television right, and stuff, yeah, you know, like glorified this is cra- or just like super trippy or like you're seeing things oh, yeah, or yeah, feeling yeah, yeah. different. Okay. Or, yeah. No, or throwing portrayed. Up. Yeah. It's just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Portrayed completely differently. Um, so when I drink, I was like, this isn't that, I was like, what was I so ang- right. I was oh, angry okay. at people for it? I was like, uh-huh. I hate it. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, sounds like daddy had a drinking problem. Before I did, I just knew I did, you know. Uh-huh. So then, yeah, we drank that uh, New Year's, and I was like, "Oh, this isn't that bad? Let's, what else we got out there?" You know. So you were feeling around. Yeah. So then I started feeling nice, around. Nice, so. bro. Okay. So what? She carves out the apple, obviously, because you're not apple. experienced. Yeah. What'd she do? What method did she use? Did she scoop the top, and then pencil, pencil yeah. halfway down, pencil halfway in? Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. That's a good one, man. She should carve it or no? Some people go fancy and put a carb on it. Uh, I think there was a carb on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Damn, her, she's a stoner. Her, well, her sister was ah. her older sister, who was actually my yeah, age. Yeah. Okay, which is r- weird. I don't know if you're any any How of those. How much younger she was? She uh, was like two or three. I just years. forgot how to speak English. There, you ain't How's even black. <laughs> How much younger she was, bro? <laughs> How much younger was she when you <laughs> carving that apple, duh? I said she was. Though. Okay, sorry, my bad. But um, okay, so older sister. Yeah, taught her how to smoke. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, an apple with a carb. I like that. I yeah. like her style. She was a good, great person. Yeah, yeah, I love her very dearly. Yeah, yeah, nice. Um, I haven't talked to her forever, but why not? I, what would you guys did you burn that bridge or what? Oh, hell yeah, yeah, well, she kind of burned it too. Okay, that's a whole other story. I could be she's 10 smoking episodes. somebody's else apple, huh? Yeah, my best friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. I've, I've, yeah, yeah we've touched on this. Uh, but okay, so, so she this particular day where I was very fond of her, very much in love. Uh, we're sitting on the uh, outside next to a fence. I just remember, I know, I remember that I remember it very vividly, like just that backyard, you know, next to the fence, oh, yeah. sitting down. Oh yeah, I know. And uh, yeah, she hit, takes a hit, and I line up to do it. 
take my first hit. I'm like, did she mm. guide you through it? Like, hey, yeah. uh, hold it, hold it, or suck, 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 yeah, suck. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then I take one. And then I remember by the second hit already, I'm like already feeling it because like it was that so, such a dumb thing where you're trying to light and I just felt like the fire was going to hit me. I was like, whoa, whoa, like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, the woo whoops going yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then so I remember we, t- I took that second hit. We did, Then we go upstairs to her bedroom and we watched A Clockwork Orange. Probably not the best movie to watch while you're high. I'm such For a the first time. <laughs> first time I did Mushrooms, I watched Pie, which is even I've more never seen that. Up. Do you know what it's about? Do they make people into pies? It's about this guy who's trying to solve the theory that everything in life is a math equation. And we're all based on the, the pie number. Okay, yeah. So he starts injecting himself, like starts shocking himself so he doesn't sleep. And he's trying to solve... And like just like the beginning dialogue of the movie, just being like nobody has a purpose and everything's mathematical from the things oh, that yeah, you see. Oh yeah, you're high this. on mushrooms. Yeah, that was fuck I that. Know, we all it was, was four stupid. of us start crying. <laughs> We're like, what are we doing? What are we doing? This God. is a bad idea. Put some but Teletubbies I, on or something, dog. That's a better idea. Well, I don't know, Biden. That's a little weird too. Hey, you guys want to do mushrooms? Watch Teletubbies? <laughs> no, Pete, I'm good. I'm gonna come pass. on, bro. I you watch ain't black. Stuff. Yeah, you, you ain't, ain't black. black. Yeah, we watch Intelligibles <laughs> over here. Uh, yeah, so I've watched so many bad, dumb things on, on, drugs, on drugs and psychedelics. Uh, yeah, a Clockwork, a Clockwork Orange. Actually, I heard about it for the longest time. And Great movie. The first time, that was way too much though. Yeah, like, and I just watched it actually probably like maybe four months ago. Hmm. Recently, actually, not. And I was like, okay, I think back in the day would have probably meant a little bit more. You didn't care for it. It wasn't that I didn't care for it. It was just interesting and weird. And it's very weird. I think the brainwashing part of it's just really interesting. Yeah. It's a, it was a cool flip on the story, too. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Kind of just how it, I don't know, we're all kind of controlled by something, you know, someone else. and Or and how much all our outside if, if forces. You're try- yeah, like if you're trying to be, you know, yourself and who you are and, and yeah. you know, it just somebody's putting their foot down and saying, hell, no. Nah. You ain't black, and you can't do this. And trying to control you and manipulate you. It was a great review of Clockwork Orange. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. Thank you, you should they'll, you should t- pitch that to the milk bar downtown. It'll be like, oh, thanks. Yeah. We're What's the milk bar downtown? Just I mean, the milk bar was you know from that movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, it opened. Yeah, yeah. Down, there's one. Yeah. It's like a bar. Right? Dude, I'd have gone to that milk bar for sure. Dude, though that there's was a hard movie to watch too, because like rape is the hardest thing for me to oh, watch yeah. in any movie. Like I, I can't st- stomach. Yeah, it, and that dude. looked really fucking real. It was huh? fucked up, dude. It, yeah. it really was uneasy for me. I hate. I can't do it in any movie. Like I watch so much horror and gore and stuff and nothing phases me but that just rape gets you it really gets me dude it get it gets me hard yeah well back in the day you also know that there was i don't know it's acting to a certain extent but they didn't care about like the actresses back in the day yeah. or like they're that's true you know that's what i'm saying like it looked pretty fucking real probably because it might have been real. Like, That's true. And that I was mean, Stanley Kubrick. I mean, yeah, he, he probably went deep into his movies. I mean, Alfred Hitchcock, do you know the movie Birds? No. So Birds was like an old horror film that, I forget who the lady who plays the lead, she was terrified of, she was actually terrified <gasps> of birds. Okay. And so they would actually set it up and like attack her and she didn't she wasn't didn't know aware it was coming was oh that's so fucked, so she get she would be crying so like all the her emotion in that movie is you're really like yes real. get it on tape yeah <laughs> and there's got to be so much weird shit like that, that happens in yeah. movies that we have no idea I mean, okay so be... what'd you do after you smoke you watched that yeah and then that was the day that's all i really remember after that to be honest with you. well you were pretty pretty high so dude. long ago now i'm sure we ate something yeah I don't know. People tend to do that afterwards. We, I always walked in uh, Washington, nice. so I'm sure we walked. I think the first time I smoked was, it may have been a can Oh. in Mexico. Oh. Right. Care to elaborate? First? No. Was that? I'm trying to think. Because huh. I smoked like out of a pipe in a buddy's backyard, and then I think after that was in Mexico, but... I don't know why the Mexico one just stands, stands out, out a little bit more. Probably just different people. Yeah. And then I didn't smoke for like till like sophomore year. And that was seven years old, you said? Uh six. Six. Six, yeah. yeah. Hey Vatos. Hey, hey Vato. He hey won, he won try you got a Pepsi can. What's that? What's that? What's that? What you <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? 
Hey, oh, amigo, you shouldn't be out here this late, huh? Hey, Pedro, how about you take this shit? Wait, I think you were playing me. Okay, I'm, sorry, I was playing going. the vato. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, vato, what, hey, uh, what are you doing out here this late? I'm playing. You from around here or what? Uh, hey, me come casa. here, chico. No, no. Come here. Okay. No, no Would your daddy tell you not to talk to strangers? Uh, mi madre. Ah, uh, come on, ese. Uh, es, Puta es, madre over there. Ah, uh, es mucho esa calle. Ah, uh, come on, man. How I old are you, boy? Seis años. Oh, you chico. Too? Come and take a sniff of this Coke can, huh? Coke can? Yeah, you like Coca-Cola? Uh, come on Me down here. Coca-Cola. Oh, come on down here. You're going to love this, Me man. Me encanta. Mucho, and then I just mucho. fucking make you smoke. What's this? No, that's definitely not how that went. Let's <laughs> 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 nice try. No, that's not how it went at all. Oh. Um, well, we're on a roof. Hey man, <laughs> why are we on this? Why are we? Why are no, we on, you, you got to find a, a safe spot to smoke. Hey, you know. Por qué? Why are we on this why roof, on this man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't jump off, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, are we doing up here, man? No, but. Yeah, I was in just in Buddy's backyard, and then it's not really... You know how they say the first time you smoke, you don't really get high? Yeah. I kind of felt that. Uh, I don't know. If, well, maybe I did it wrong. Yeah. Maybe I did it wrong. Like, maybe, maybe I didn't... Maybe I was didn't. six years old, so... Well, I never inhaled. No, in all truthfulness, it was... Um, That's what we're aiming for in this podcast. Seventh grade. <laughs> seventh grade. Yeah. So how old are you in seventh grade? 18? Maybe. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> was that your experience, Nick? Yeah, I was 18. No. I was held back. But then the time that really stood out was when I started smoking again um, with a buddy here in high school. And I remember, like you say, sitting in his backyard. This is a buddy that... Hey, what are we doing in this backyard, mom, man? <laughs> <laughs> his mom was like, had the next window over. And I was like, dude, you know. Uh, you know she's watching you. Yeah. But yeah, we used to just... So I used to drive over monkey. to... Drive over to his house in the mornings before school. So it was like 6 30, 7. And we just fucking get baked, dude. And you could just see, because you know when the sun's coming in and you blow that cloud and you just see the sun just illuminate that whole cloud and it's just like, yeah. and listen to music and shit. And then I'm like, dude, those are some of the chillest memories watching the fucking birds. It's Nat Geo and chillest like, memories. Hashtag chillest memories. <laughs> Dog. <man>. Dog. <laughs> Chillest what? I'm being real and now you're making fun of me, I'm dude. You acting you. like I'm not wearing my mask in public or you're something. Not, dude. Dude. Quit judging you me. You don't even okay? own a mask. Hey, quit judging me. Okay, sorry. But God you ain't wearing it. that mask. But you ain't black. But you ain't black either. Do you see the the cops in, in Minneapolis? Uh uh-uh. uh. Like that knee down on that black dude. I forgot what his name was. No, oh, what happened? Just another example of pr- police brutality. Oh, yeah? Dude, it's t- crazy. Where it's, was it? Minneapolis just thinking like if that would have never if we didn't have phones think about how much how much that shit was going on before and how much it still is even though people know they're being recorded it's like if you're in Walmart and you spit out a cashier or cough on them you're like you can see that people are holding up their right. phone like you are aware of that and like cops are the same way or they, they everybody is recording and still there's thousands of videos of people recording but you can't do that it's not what they do to him what was they he killed doing? Him. But did they really? Yeah. What's the context? Because I always feel like these I videos know. are ha- started like halfway through the argument. Like right. Nobody knows who's right, who's wrong. Well, resisting arrest. That's the biggest but, thing in a video for me, dude. But that's also you don't. There's a justice system. You don't hold somebody down on a knee when they're saying they can't breathe for like twelve minutes. Yeah. Well, oh, so people it, was like around, the, it was like the other and, homie and that people they, around, they held yeah, down. Yeah. I can't breathe. Right. Hashtag. Yeah. Um, so it just it's it's disturbing. Yeah, they, that is disturbing. It just it's the it, what it is is the it's a militarization of the police force in a sense that we don't have a right to trial. You don't have your right to your story. Mm. They kill you before. You know, they can, you, you even have a right to right. an attorney or something like it. And I understand they're. And it's tough because they're in the line of danger. You know, they are scared. Uh. But there's a point when you have the the perk, like, you know, under custody. Hold up, dude. Yeah, no. There is a point. You have you him under custody. But hold on. How long did it take that guy to get in custody? That's a good How question. How long was he resisting arrest? Right. You know, like, why not? Hey, get your hands behind your back. Get on the ground. 
you know, let me do this the easy way. I am a person of authority, right? Yeah. And I get it, dude. That some police abuse their power and all that. And you're going to get that anywhere. Politics, yeah. fucking teachers, whatever. And, like, it's always that if you don't listen, like, hey, put your hands behind your back, get on the ground, like, that would have gone so much easier. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You have nothing to hide? Let me see your paper. Let me see, you know, credentials, whatever. Right. And then, I don't know, dude. It's always but that resisting arrest that, for I, me. I understand that. I get that. Okay, so they resist arrest. He's on the ground because he, he scuffled. And then he's in cuffs. And then he's in cuffs. And then... It's like... I, I mean, don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but they had him... I don't know. Why not just sitting down on the ground? Or like, I don't... Probably I guess because resisting get, arrest, so they probably yeah, tackled dude. him or something at some point. And again, we, none of us know what the fuck we're saying because right. we weren't there, you yeah. know. To to right, we didn't see what you happened. You see the clip of the video and you see it kind of mashed up. You see yeah, what the police report up. is. Yeah. I mean, four of the police officers were fired, especially so. for that officer. Oh, they were fired. Yeah. Okay, but but is that just because that's the thing? Is it like is it because it goes yeah, is viral? Yeah, canceled. Yeah, is he? You know, like that's the culture. So. Also, that officer knowing what culture and what fucking, you know, hot, hot, how triggered, you know, society is now anymore. Oh, yeah. Knowing that, knowing the hashtag I can't breathe, knowing that that just happened. If homie's on the ground, you have your knee on his head neck. or neck. Yeah. yeah. And he's saying, I can't breathe. Like, you should take yeah. that into play, too. Like, and I get it, dude. It's probably fucking hard to think when you... Just, Adrenaline. Yeah. Your adrenaline's yeah, no, got to be... Sure. It's yeah, like so who the 10 fuck bang knows? energy drinks. It is, it, it is fucked up, though. It's just hard to watch those things. And, but yeah. for me, it's just... Dude, think about how much corruption is unrecorded, undocumented. Yeah. That's what scares yeah. me. We only... Because if you see... Domestic th- abuse, probably one of the one of the leading causes of just not going recorded or oh, yeah. reported. Oh, or, yeah. Yeah. And that's... That's just get your Elton John glasses and you're good to go for a week. You can go get groceries. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Especially That'll now. You could be all covered up. Yeah. It's a good time to beat your wife. Or beat the husband. Yeah. Because that mean. happens, dude. Yeah, there's some, that's true. That is true. They don't, <laughs> yeah. No, it is. No, it is. Yeah. It is true. And it is, weir- yeah. it is a weird conversation. Like, if you were to date probably Latina... <laughs> oh god damn. We throwing a race in there, homie. Most okay. likely yeah. most likely cooks tamales on the holidays. Or you know, uh, them Dominicanas, you know what I mean? Maybe or or to be fair, well no. Yeah. Okay, but No, dude, there's for, some white women out there that do the same shit. Okay? I know, dude. I'm joking. Okay, okay. Pedro. Right. Do I need to give hey, you context? You know, my heart l- hurt a little bit. I was like, I don't yeah. Latina although I watched my Latina, mom beat my dad up Latina all the time. Latina bitches are crazy, anyone. dude. <laughs> they are crazy. How about Cubans? Because uh, I've had experience, so I could say. Yeah? Yeah, they're wild. Uh-huh. But it's like if you meet like one of these fiery women Oof. that's hitting you, throwing shit, like yeah, it yeah, is yeah. a weird thing of being like, yeah, you just like keep on taking it. <laughs> you know? Like, I, I mean, I could see why. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's so easy to say like, well, I'd fucking leave, you know, and like yeah. I, I'm out of there, you know. It's like, right. or I'm I'm fucking leaving him. I'm leaving her, you know. It's so easy to say that, but there's so much more right in dynamic that, that is going on behind the scenes. Like you said, we don't fucking yeah. hear about it. You don't. There's so much more going on in every relationship that is ever spoken about. Or oh yeah, it's like a boiling yeah. point at some eventually. I mean, in those, yeah. It's just fucking. It's like the lady that threw his the, the guy's laptop at his. Uh, they were like on an airplane, and this lady's freaking out. Oh yeah, like, yeah. About yeah. some text or whatever he was talking to. I don't. I don't care. Or remember. cut off the dude's dick and threw it in the woods. Oh damn! No, I did not hear about that one. But how many times has that happened? You know, you hear probably a lot. I don't. Yeah, know. I mean, fuck. It's just weird. I'm just saying that men probably get abused more than women. You think so? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I we should take that way, back. This is way we too heavy. Take of the that car- back. <laughs> we should take domestic. Women are crybabies, <laughs> and men get abused more. Learn how to take a punch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't see us running up to the police crying about it. She's like, I barely slapped you. <laughs> Look at this. Do you see my cut right here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, my wife. My wife that did that my to wife. me. Yeah, it was her big toe. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. It was her big now toe. Now you're throwing down your wife's drawing, I'm too. Trying- <laughs> Trying to just 
<laughs> destroy the studio. I'm fucking a mess over here, though. Dude, do you need to stop whatever you're Give me a smoking? Second, dude. Okay, Give okay. Me a second. We're, okay, we're getting them in a second. You ain't black. <laughs> That's true. Damn. Never claimed to be. You never claimed to be. But what's the blackest thing that you think you do, Pedro? I probably. <laughs> All right. Got it, homie. That's pretty good. Got it, homie. The blackest thing I do, I don't know if it's black or if it's just racist of me, but I like do the voice. I go straight mm, to the voice, you know? Yeah. But I've, that's like always been my inner monologue, too, dude. It's this big black sassy woman. <laughs> I've always thought that. So I'm just like, that's just what I go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just do that yeah. shit. And I don't know if that's the blackest thing I do or if it's a racist thing I do, but I do it. And you got a problem? No, man. I'm okay, good, cool. dude. Hey, should we call Are you up, resisting uh, arrest? Homie CJ? Yeah. Please stand on my neck. Yeah, whatever it gets. I don't know why. Let's we... do, because I've been wanting to do, you know, throughout this whole thing, I've only talked to you. We've only had our perspective on this thing. Like, why don't we call up somebody else, some other normal human being that's just dealing with this on his own? Okay. It's a different perspective. Oh. And we've had him on, so I figured, okay, girl. Oh. It's, a sh- it's okay. All right, Jazz. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> it's a short, Okay. Oh, grr. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's that one really has a spice to it, dude. I'm telling you. It's like you're running I will beat you if we're, <laughs> if we're in a relationship. Oh. I would be the uh, oh. abuser. Oh. I give him a shout okay, out. Okay, dude. God, dude, gotta do everything on this podcast. Y'all remember CJ, uh, Hobo Blues Clown, baby? When was he on? A couple know. weeks ago? 80, I think. Oh, damn. That was a while ago. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Dr. Zevia? Hello. <laughs> Dr. Zevia. <laughs> You're at it again. What have you been up to during all this? Oh, the good doctor. I'm just busy, busy. <laughs> hey, doctor. Doc, doc, what's your take on the, the whole pandy here going on? Uh, oh, pandy watch, we've been calling it. <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with Panty Watch. Okay? Yes, we're not talking about that. Totally That's your different side project. No, yes, Panty Watch uh, was my business where we were we were making watches, but the watch band was made out of panties that we stole. Oh, nice. We had to do something with them. I think that people started getting rashes on their wrists. Right? Is that what happened? <laughs> there was a lot of lawsuits. <laughs> yes, yes. The crab lice were getting the wrist yes. hair. It was a. The fecal brown, I think, might have been a mistake as well. The fecal brown penny watch, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we have investors looking into it. <laughs> Wait, what happened to your accent, Dr. Sevia? It goes in and out. <laughs> I lost the spice. <laughs> what, uh, what up, CJ? How's it going, man? How are you guys? I'm good. I mean, We're doing better well. now, I feel like. He's got a joint and a beer in one hand, yeah. and then I'm puffing on this... Uh, Little vape pen over here. That's oh, we, that's a beautiful thing. That's my dog's that wiener. Oh. That's what we call no, <laughs> no, Noki's uh, lipstick is uh, a vape pen. Yeah. That's, that's a less beautiful thing in my <laughs> opinion, but art is subjective and, you know, whatever you guys are into, that's fine. Well, you ain't black, dude, Amen. so, okay? That's true. Yeah. Well, yeah, so how have you, how have you been holding up? You were, you're a Uber Eats delivery driver, aren't you? That's your goddamn right. But how has that been through all this? This has got to have been fucking wild, no? You know what, man? It's actually been, uh, not to be like a total cunt, but it's been really good. Like, I've had a, it's been, you know, I know people are suffering and everything like that, but for me, it's been. Oh, that like business is. Fall, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's booming business, dude. I mean, everything's only yeah, takeout, dude. you know, as of last week, everything was only takeout. Yeah. I, and I, I mean, it's not that, you know, it's not huge money but last week i think i averaged like 33 bucks an hour so it's still damn good. dude there you go that's good yeah fuck panty yeah. watches dude yeah what are you still doing with <laughs> those man <laughs> let let's the dream hustle. die <laughs> you let your side hustle fund your investments that's just oh I see, I see, I see. but did you take any time off through this like did, were you afraid at first or like would you just kind of muscle through it and just kind of be a little weary of it or what was that all like not no, not at all. <laughs> you never I, been afraid. You know, haven't been fearful at all. No, I, I haven't felt at risk the entire time or anything like that. And I am in a position where, uh, right before the pandemic hit, I had to drop all my classes and, and double my work hours just so I could keep living in a you know place.
house with a roof on it. So, <laughs> like, I was in pretty dire straits, and then, you know, within just a couple of weeks, I was able to get caught up on some bills and, you know, get a little bit straight, so. Well, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, like, that's where my head's been at, so I So, I so what you're really saying, this is I'm almost a, like coronavirus. This is a blessing in disguise <laughs> for you. Your what supporter. I'm is that Dr. Sevia <laughs> the coronavirus. Definitely not me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's and just it, it, it's just crazy how it affects everybody so differently. Like, honestly, for us, I don't think it's been so detrimental because we've been normalized to it kind of by, you know, not having to take time off of work, not just staying at home. You know, we're still going out. We're still interacting with people. So it's almost... Yeah. It's almost a normal sense. And I think we said last week, like, imagine the people in their house that have only left once, you know, every two weeks to go get groceries or anything. Like, yeah. how freaked out they are just because they're only looking at the CDC numbers. They're only looking at the news and they're only, you know, it's like that's, that's bad for you on a regular day when you can still go talk to your friends. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be locked in the house doing that all day. It's not good for you. No. I've been. That, that's probably uh, partly why I've been kind of clinging to the, uh, uh, like this isn't as bad as it's being made out to be narratives. You know, I've been kind of just trying to maybe over optimistically, you know, rely on those. Right. So, yeah. But I don't know. Like the day before the NBA shut, the, the day the NBA shut down, I was hanging out with my friend who had just gotten in town from Japan. And it was just like, oh, God, okay. Yeah. So you were, I mean, that that was like the, the fairly the beginning stages of the pandemonium. But yeah. you already <laughs> had you already had an idea in your head. I mean, it wasn't the worst thing you were hanging out with your friend of Japan, was it? Or like no, that? No, no. And I wasn't worried about it because. Right. Again, that's I, a, I guess that's what I'm asking. Can, I can take the right precautions. Like even driving Uber Eats, you're not ever in a closed in environment with anybody except for maybe when you're picking up the order at the restaurant yeah yeah so, like it's just i think that it's relatively low risk for what, what it is and you have any crazy stories through all this of like one weird delivery or something that you can tell the story of or is that confidential you think no is really, that driver yeah. driver consumer confidentiality yeah i believe i don't know what kind of privacy they have i'm sure there is some <laughs> okay tell me disprove this have you ever, have you ever, you see the videos of like the, del, like the naked delivery girls where they answer the door? <laughs> have you ever experienced anything like that? Unfortunately not. One time Damn, I, was pizza, dude. Yeah, I was a pizza delivery driver one time, uh, like uh, this, I knocked on a door, it opened and there was no one there and there was just a big poster of Kurt Cobain. I was like, oh, this is weird. And then this like beautiful chick popped out from behind the door and was like, oh, I thought you were somebody else. I don't have money for you. Come in and hang out. And I was praying to God that that was going to happen, but it didn't. Damn, Damn dude. Well, fuck so, you, God. So what, did you guys just smoke out of an <laughs> apple or something? No, actually, I rolled up a, a cigarette of hers. Ooh. That was back when I was smoking cigarettes and hung out like I was too cool for school. But you I fucking heathen. I to say anything. I know. Dude, I've still been aching for Dr. Ziva to walk me through DMT. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get there, Dad. Whenever you, <laughs> uh, my, my palms just started sweating so hard. My <laughs> hands, just say the word, I'll be there. Yeah, uh, that's funny. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have Uber Eats isn't doesn't give you the opportunity for crazy things to happen. No, like, I did. Yeah, I you're kind of on a on a schedule. Uber for a while, and and I stopped doing that because, like you know, like old ladies with wine stained lips would be hitting on me. Hell yeah! Damn, how yeah, old? See. You said, uh, old ladies, I don't know. You said, the way that you said, hell yeah, is the way you think. Like, in your imagination, it hell sounds yeah. cool. It sounds like I've got... <laughs> yeah, because I'm picturing this, like... Old ladies with wine stained lips. I'm picturing this, up. like, uh, late 40s oh, yeah. dime bomb. Just, just, yeah. uh... Even still, it's kind of odd. Like, if I wanted to hang out with an old <laughs> drunk lady who makes me uncomfortable, I'd still talk to my mom. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Nick's still I'm talking to your mom. Either. Don't, that's yeah. not even funny. Well, I, okay. He laughed. He but what laughed. about what about like a weird like a weird situation to a restaurant you went to maybe get the food? There's never anything strange about that, or they all had it figured out. Because I feel like working in a restaurant, it's been kind of this weird frenzy because everybody doesn't have any fucking idea what's going on, but you're still operating through it all. So were there any like restaurants that were operating in a really strange upside down way or anything like that, or not really? 
there's definitely places I won't go to. Like, I won't pick up from McDonald's. I guess that's not really so much the restaurant's fault, except for there's definitely more of a chance that I'm going to get stuck standing around watching people do stupid shit at yeah. McDonald's yeah. and, like, wasting my time. Um, but Fair also, enough. it's it's a lot more often that I'm dropping off McDonald's to somebody who's, like, not going to tip or not going to put instructions on how to get to their apartment or some bullshit. True. This is a lot about True. their clientele. This, I, I know. Mean, I, mean, I know them. <laughs> that's the McDonald's clientele. That, that's a smart business decision, if you ask me, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah. optimize here. Every if I uh, if you're any, any uh, and this is gonna be totally racist. Any Indian yeah. person who orders food from Uber Eats lives in an apartment. Yeah. Huh. So if you don't want to deliver to apartments as an Uber I mean, Eats driver because it's a pain in the dick, then just don't pick up from Indian food places. Oh, oh, is it? It's a pain in the dick to to deliver to apartments. Absolutely. Yeah, because like, the numbers and shit gate codes yeah yeah and like women. i don't know though i also i also know indians that live in a six million dollar home on a nice golf course so i mean uh, so yeah, yeah yeah no there's there's a few times where it takes you to the nice neighborhood slum dog millionaire cash. <laughs> yeah 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 well, not like every every single doctor ever yeah, yeah. hey dr <laughs> ziegler <laughs> ziegler <laughs> Uh, what was his name? Doctor Amashnapad or whatever. Zevia. No, Zevia. Doctor yes, Zevia. Yes. That's what, that's what I meant. Um, what do you think about the CDC retracting previous stated comments about it living on surfaces the, and the CDC a couple of the, other things? The, is the propaganda arm of Doctor Zevia Incorporated? They do a wonderful job. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're fully you're fully behind CDC then. Yeah, I am. As a doctor, as a doctor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you don't understand. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. He yeah. fooled us all, people. He's got his hands in everybody's pockets. <laughs> I made the coronavirus. So you're pretty much Anthony Fauci, bro. <laughs> More like yes. Mr. Grouchy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, don't dog on Sesame Street. Sesame Street taught me valuable life lessons. Yeah, it did. But never tell us anything about like, thinking about wearing face masks. What's what are you, what's your opinion on wearing masks out there? And the, yeah, most importantly, do you wear one while you're driving alone in your car? Yeah, when you're handling people's food that they're gonna put in their mouth, you piece of shit. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, I do not. Okay, um, I am I am one of those terrible fucks. But and it's not even like I have any real principled stance against it. I just don't like being told what to do. Yeah. To the extent that I'm like, I, I dumb. Uh, it might it's not it, you know i'm not proud of it it's just me being honest with you right now nope haven't worn it i put it on because uber makes you take a picture to say yeah are you wearing your little mask while you're driving okay so you're not wear, you no don't wear a mask. behind that no i don't yeah there's no, no si there's literally no science behind wearing a mask while you're driving so that's dumb well, I'm going to stop you there because I feel like anything the government tells me, I have to wear a face mask and shove a cork up my ass so I don't spread fecal matter anywhere. I'm doing it. I don't care. You yeah. know, yeah. I'll cut off 10 of my toes if they're causing me trouble. You know, as long as we figure this out. They, they do have expertise uh, that is wrong every time. Beyond reproach. God, they're like the fucking meteorologists from your local news channel, dude. That's true. That's a good point. They're geniuses, but, uh, and, and I mean, they're always up to date with the latest information. Like a few weeks ago, the masks didn't, they weren't effective. Right. And then, you know, and then a couple weeks later, they found out they were effective, but then this week, they've not, they're not effective anymore. Yeah, you, but you know what's fucked yeah. up? And we talked about it. It's like uh, the, being judged for not wearing one or being, <laughs> yeah. you know, looked I, at like. That went, but that flipped on me. The first, I tried to wear one, and th that whole day, I got dirty looks. And then now everybody else is wearing them, and I'm getting dirty looks. That's a great line. point. That is it a does, really great point. You do. You feel the energy from either side because there are situations where I've worn a bandana because I felt kind of guilted into it or whatnot in a store. Yeah. And then you all of a sudden you see the people not wearing a mask, and you see them. Ju that's so true. Right, that's, yeah. that's hilarious. Well, you know what? We went out. We actually went out to eat for the first time a couple of days ago. How was maybe, that? Maybe it was. It was fine, dude. It, you know what the bugged me the most is you were saying you were getting dirty looks for wearing the mask. Like, I, I think it bothered me that they served me with gloves on and all of that. Yeah. Like, because I'm, you know, they've touched so many things with those gloves and they're not switching them out. Like, you know, they're wearing one per day, two pairs per day, you know. Maybe they'll switch yeah. it out after they have their lunch or something. But it was, it was so weird. I don't know. I, I felt this... Uh, 
some discomfort, dude. I dude. had that same experience. Because you're not so- you're not supposed to steal. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I yeah, we, I mean, we were we're not at a doctor's office. The only the only doc the only person I want wearing gloves around me is a doctor that's about to put a finger in me or something, yeah. you know. <laughs> and I'm not there, but I do it regularly just because you know I want to be safe. Practice. I'm yeah. not at the age, right. but you know I still go in and I and I hey can I just do you were just here last month, but then I'm like dude I just want to make sure there's nothing up there. I just need to express my glands. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of. It's almost. It's, it's almost become that. Yeah. It's a good massage therapy idea. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I think it's I called just, the gay I'm, bar, but. I'm gonna be writing a whole thing about actually that song that I just shared with Pete. It, 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 it's it's like the condensed, memeified version of this thing I want to write. I just don't have any time to to research it. That was that. The, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say just about how you're not supposed like scarcity mindset and and being afraid of the other like these are things these are the environments that real actual racism is bred within and like brett weinstein talks about that about this and 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 how there's a biological uh like predisposition towards racism um which is logical you know because uh, communities and history populations that meet have often spread disease that, you know, within a, a generation, your yeah. entire lineage is wiped out. Mm-hmm. So there's like a biological like basis for, for this predisposition that we have wired within us. And if we're going to go around making everyone inherently afraid of each other and separated from each other, not able to see those, to, to make the connection of facial expressions and things like that, we're limiting that social interaction that we have, disconnecting a little bit from each other. It's just mm-hmm. not a good not a good environment right now yeah i love that. that's great well, it's yeah. Ne- yeah it's never been it's almost like divide and conquer in a way like right i just just all the, just the media panicking plus the uh the lack of any real expertise you know like we were talking about getting told contradicting things week after week and nobody knowing exactly what to do and it, it, it's just it's all too much. And then, yeah. you know, words like social distancing is inherently it, it, it negative. It inherently creates a negative idea about social interaction. And it's just like, this is terrible. This, you guys are, are creating an environment for something to pop to, off. It's yeah, just, kind of something to, there's a baby in the oven, you're saying. And then in a couple months, we're going to see the ramifications of that. Maybe. Yeah, it's just pressure. There's a lot of yeah. pressure. I feel like we're seeing it now. Thing right now. And, and we need a release valve quick. Yeah, because yeah. this pressure ain't building a diamond, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll no, build a diamond, but it'd be a different kind of diamond. Yeah, it's I think a black diamond. But yeah, uh, Pete showed me the song in the video prior to us recording, and I, yeah, I, it was catchy. It was, had a good vibe, so I liked it, man. Thank um, you, sir. I should have sent it to you directly and, as well. And what was uh, what's that's from your forthcoming album? You said. Yeah, yeah, I've got five tracks I put together. Two of them are sort of. Three of them are, are topical, you know. Well, yeah, that's of, that was the other a little bit of politics. That was the other question I was going to ask you. Um, obviously, you answered it just by stating that you have that, but you've been pretty creative uh, during this this quarantine. You've been saying yeah. like you have more. T- do you feel like you have more time to do shit or what? Because well, I, I mean, more time since dropping my classes. Yeah. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I guess it wouldn't yeah. be just the pandy, huh? Mm-mm. No, the, pa- the pandemic hasn't really affected my life. My life literally operates the same way as it would have, regardless. Huh. Yeah, except for the fact that I was able to move around a little bit quicker in traffic, and I didn't have to <laughs> deal with that. Oh, yeah, huh. Which now, is great. Now all the idiots are back on driving, dude. Yeah, yeah. I felt a little bit relieved not to be able to find parking the other day. I was like, whoa, I remember this. Normal. Right. Yeah. Well, it's also like seeing toilet paper in the stores again. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, everything's returning. Everything's going to be a okay, you know? Purell yes. in the Circle K. Oh, yeah? I got a face mask in Circle Damn, K. Damn, like, son. Why not? Damn. They got it, dog. Well, Five bucks. Okay. The post, Postmates sends, sent out their driver's uh, uh, free face mask, a free cloth face mask. This ah. thing is like the kind of black sheer see-through bullshit that you see on ladies on Halloween when they're in their like, sweaty Halloween outfits. Yeah. It's, that's not stopping anything. No. Right? Well, you don't know. We don't really know Corona, so it could, that could actually be the one that works. You I know, since it, it was I, made I in China. An, 
attic yesterday. I was up in an attic yesterday for my cousin trying to hang, like, reinstall a fan mount. And there was, you know, attic insulation everywhere. I tried to wear that thing, and I was like, this isn't how... I, like, spit shit out of my mouth after I took it off. It yeah, it's almost like garbage. a magnet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Trash. They yeah. sent me a piece of trash to put on my face. Right. Yeah. Because that's what I am today. Well, we got to do something with the trash. <laughs> Have you seen the ocean lately? Also, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. You said you're, 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 po- you're Postmates, not Uber Eats. I do Uber Eats. I also am signed up for Postmates. Side hustle, baby. <laughs> okay. Side hustle on that real yeah, hustle, I, I boy. Do. I signed up for all of those bullshits. The sticker on the back window thing, the mystery shopper thing. But I, I really only ever do Uber Eats because I'm lazy and it pays the bills. So. Gotcha. Also, didn't, didn't Uber Eats... Uh, like let go a lot of people or is that mainly just uber transportation drivers, like drivers so. probably the drivers yeah yeah um, yeah because you said uh, business because <laughs> <laughs> people will talk shit you know like why don't you drive these people because it's a little bit more money or whatever and now it's like oh whoops yeah huh well people are going uh, extinct there's not gonna be money out here soon so i mean yeah I think by next week we should have two million debts. Yeah, that's what CNN told me a while ago. So I haven't. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Yeah. And you know what, CJ? Remember to wear your mask, wear your gloves, just be safe, be fearful. And you know, you ain't black, dude. Do I always wear protection? And uh, yeah, no. Uh, um, I don't know. We'll see about being black. Maybe I can get behind <laughs> Biden if he if he finishes one complete sentence this month. I'll. Maybe I'll get uh, him. Give him some <laughs> credit. He's almost gotten there a couple times. All right, give you him know? <laughs> three words. Three words that yeah. correlate well together. Yeah. And, you know, it's forming It's forming a sentence. He's just not... Got, he doesn't have the other three or four words that he needs. You think yeah. Picasso spoken sentences? You know, Biden's a kind of a modern-day <laughs> uh, Picasso of language. He paints a picture. He, You know, it's like you're playing... Uh, categories or something you can say the subject the <laughs> matter and maybe a color yeah. and you, people yeah. have to guess what you're talking about you maybe know? picasso's masterpieces <laughs> were just like mid picture pictionary you know guess that's what yeah i yeah. could see that yeah makes yeah. sense anyway yeah, dude yeah. great great right, great talking to you uh thanks for doing this and, and for being on we appreciate it heck yes thanks for calling i appreciate what you guys are doing thanks for the mental health checkup it's good to talk to some people so. for sure dude i want you back in here soon man damn that sounded like yeah. a sexual threat <laughs> yeah but you wearing that mat you wearing a mask gloves a, a garbage bag <laughs> maybe i'll come in as hobo blues clown and punk the album oh there, there we you go. go yeah i good. like that me too i like that too. bring that hobo on in here dude yeah. we'll give him a I wanna, roof I we'll, give him a ro- we'll give him a roof over his head <laughs> all right <laughs> and also i have a i think i have to return my panty watch <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it had a it had a streak down the yeah. middle of it so I went with the period red. It was my mistake. <laughs> oh, okay. The cats, yeah, the cats in my apartment won't leave me alone. <laughs> All right, CJ, love right, you, man. Guys. You have a good day. All right. Later hey, on, drive safe. Will do. Awesome, man. That was awesome. That was good. It was good to hear from him. That was good to hear from him. It's it's just nice to hear from people you don't talk to for a while. He's a good guy too. Yeah. I like him. He's funny. I've always liked CJ. He's man. funny, insightful. You know, I've. I've he's t- aware, you know, he's, yeah. I don't know. It's just I've tooted your horn before for like the people you've always brought up in here. You know, it's like I don't like having people in my apartment or my place, especially when I don't know them. So it's always a little bit uneasy. But yeah. literally everybody that you've ever introduced me to has always been That's co- I only cooler hang out than with you. Good people. Dude. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You, you know? really swing up. You're just like the settler <laughs> and the reacher. I'm the accepted. Constant reacher. I'm the accepted, you know, uh, <laughs> slave or no, not slave. Just uh, what's that? What's that? You're saying if this guy hangs out in my group, I can make Hispanic jokes? Peasant. That's uh, what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, yes. peasant. I'm that welcomed and uh, and loved peasant. Hell yeah. From he, all my friends. Because they are all cooler than me, dude. I don't, <laughs> I'm not going to hang out with a fucking person that's not cooler that's than me. That's a good point. You know that's saying? actually smart. Well, some uh, people do. Yeah, that, to make so themselves make them feel, feel better. better. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not doing that. True. That's a good point. But you made a good point in that conversation that I thought we kind of perused over, which, as you said, you know, the news and stuff has been steering us wrong and that what like they're like weathermen and we've been giving weathermen so much shit for so many years and 
but it is funny. So like you, you, I've always seen like, oh, the weatherman's full of shit. But all these other guys are saying, hey, to you, Johnny, these guys are just as full yeah. of shit and right, as clueless right, right. as the weatherman. Yeah. The weatherman probably has a better <laughs> yeah. chance of yeah. guessing. <laughs> and he's yeah. probably like, if you look at percentage wise of what stories are reported on and things that actually happened, like, yeah, why have we for so long had this trust yeah. in the media? Well, just because they have their tits showing or like, or they look old enough. It's yeah, just, we've been indoctrinated. Yeah, it's, it's wild though, right? It is. Yeah, but I, yeah, I don't know where that came from. I like your your you think you compared Joe Biden to the modern day Picasso. That was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's yeah. so funny. You ain't black. God damn, dude. Yeah, Biden. I think we found an episode title for this. Black. You ain't black. <laughs> you ain't black. Is that okay? Can we do that? Dude, we can totally do that. Yeah. A couple of white guys over here just hanging <laughs> out, you know. White guys <laughs> palling around. <laughs> Drinking some God. beer, smoking some jazz <laughs> cigarettes. You know, it's funny. Sometimes I forget I'm Mexican. Yeah. And then I see how people look at me, and I'm like, oh, wait, yeah, I am. Well, also, when Mexican. you were eating out and they served you with gloves and masks, because you noticed they weren't doing that to any of the other yeah, tables. Yeah, they took them off, and they just, like, served them regularly. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, huh, I wonder what's You guys weird. are sitting in, like, the kitchen. Do I look kitchen? dirty? Yeah. They're like, so oh. <laughs> I think this white girl's bringing be- this dirty homeless guy for charity. <laughs> if Corona was a person, huh? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I, I went out uh, for my sister's yeah, birthday. Yeah, where did you go? Sister's birthday? Yeah, and it, I didn't like birthday, it. Huh? Did you kiss her? You. Yeah, I kissed her. Where uh, where did you guys go? Uh, it's called La Hacienda. It's oh, yeah, that Mexican France. place yeah. you told me about. I didn't like it at all. What, the food or the service or just being served in a, during a pandy? Yeah. Out? It, it's just that energy. You feel, was, the, was the table next people, to you crossed out with tape? With a, no. With, no? Like, cause they was, just separated the tables and mm-hmm. just took ones out that wouldn't. You know, yeah. abide by the rules. But I, I, I feed off of energy and vibes, and just you feel the vibes, you feel the energy, and it's set up that way because everybody's wearing masks mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. So you're like, Ugh. and then you, our server, uh, she just kept on bringing up. Like they got to cut the menu to like six or seven items, really okay. small. And she's like, "Well, we had to do this because of you know, you know, because of this and this." Oh, I hate that. Like she. Kept on also yeah. bringing it up yeah. in a sense. And I get it because it's so fucking hard not right. to. And I think she's kind of friends with my sister. And I think my parents kind of know her too. So it's probably more yeah. communicative in that way. But me as the outsider, I would just like, it was a constant reminder about what's happening when you already feel like it's weird to be out. Right. But I also do think um, it's it's trying to ease it on you or like a, as a server be like just trying to almost to make light of it in a sense hmm. or or yeah you know kind of normalize it because it's like i'm so, you know because she, she was probably shit. she was probably like i'm i'm sorry you know i can't, I can't right. hear you or you can't hear me or yeah. you know my gloves get in the way my or, dsls you know. are all covered up right and, and i want to see them yeah. i want to see them i want to smell them so you know do I, I do but it's almost uh, well, smelling. they have a, <laughs> it's normalizing it to not make I don't know to not make it awkward, but by doing that you're doing the complete opposite, you know. Yeah. And what I did kind of like about this place, it's like at the end when we paid our bill and we were leaving, mm-hmm. we kind of got into it and be like, dude, this fucking mass are ridiculous. Like, I yeah. really didn't like getting served with gloves, and I wasn't complaining, you know. He yeah. he because he was. But you're not getting a tip. No, no, I I tipped him well, mm-hmm. but um, <laughs> he wasn't com- he wasn't complaining or I wasn't complaining, and he was like. You know, it just sucks that I have to do all this. Like that's yeah. kind of the conversation well, we had. You're the server, okay, bitch. Well, then and there's give me a and they're refill. doing that for people <laughs> like that. You know, they're doing that, but it just made me feel uncomfortable, dude. I didn't. The honestly, the people there eating eating out, like you saw the people coming in, and you knew they were for takeout because mm-hmm. they had their masks, right. their gloves, like right, right. You know, you know those people are just getting takeout. But there's also people that eat out with masks, take the mask off so they eat. Put them back on as le- I'm just like yeah I don't under- you're in here <sighs> you know so but most the majority of the people there that were eating there they were just fine they were all chill yeah they didn't have no mask no gloves they were just you know no mask no gloves no mask no, no gloves problem. and that's gonna be the next fucking Takashi Six Nine album after his release boy he's released. yeah I know but he's oh, I mean he's, he's working rele- on he's it. released yeah. music oh has he yeah damn it I should keep up. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to the. I was talking to this lady <laughs> at the. Dis- I, I don't know why I referenced that. I don't follow yeah. it at all. <laughs> I, was talk- I look like I heard on a does. podcast, dude. So uh, I was talking to the dispensary lady today, and we were talking about like. Do you, you have know, a mask on? Yeah, 
See, that's I don't but know. they don't they're not required to. So some of them do and some mm. of them don't. And the dispensary is pretty evenly split on that too, customer wise. You gotcha. Know? But uh, we were talking, and uh, you know, we we're talking about me working in a restaurant, how it's been her just because it, it's been crazy in the dispensary. It's busier than it's ever been. Yeah. Selling more product than they ever have. It just it's all, yeah. So which kind of wild, and you know, restaurants have been kind of crazy too. And I'm like, the craziest thing for me, man, lady, <laughs> is that. There's still just the biggest pieces of shit humans out there that still get so angry and so upset. Yeah. If you're complaining about a food order during all of it, like, and not complaining about it, not, hey, can you do this? Can maybe change this? I, even that, I feel like it's a little much. But making a scene, writing an email, writing a Yelp review, complaining. Yeah. Who the yeah. fuck are you, dude? Right. You fucking piece of shit, low-level <laughs> asshole, dude. So these people that are, you know, essential workers, yeah, we're not in hospitals, but we're providing a service for you. Right. And no, you're no, the no. self-entitled fucking customer that just is going to derail this whole thing because you weren't served how you adequately felt like you should. We're in a fucking we're pandemic, a pandy, motherfucker. Baby. If you want and take any of these services, like... Yeah, it's yeah, cr- yeah. It's kind of just giving, cutting some more slack to people. Totally. I also think about it. It's like restaurants separating tables, taking tables out. Like, should it? I I get it. As a business, you want to cram as many people as you want. Yeah. There. But shouldn't like that's what a restaurant should be, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It feels more normal with having less. I don't know. It's, it's I don't okay know. Maybe having I was less. Just talking to me. Oh, me you mean th- like me having less is good? Having less is should yeah. be the what you know. There's always those signs like max capacity or max occupancy. Like, right. And we always and fit the always, crazy number. You're like, yeah. how? You get yeah, 600 no. people yeah. in if here? If I was standing two inches away from Mary and yeah. three from John over here. Right, right. Okay? Like, and that wasn't a Bible reference. Are but we I in just the Wrigley Fields <laughs> boys' bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Just pissing in a trough next to each other? <laughs> that shit was so weird, dude. Yeah. I remember those days. Have you ever, Fuck, have you ever gone pissed in a trough before? I have. It's, uh, I don't. I like my privacy when I pee. Me too. I'm not, Especially you know, when you're eight years old and there's a circle. So it's like, you see like that kind Homie of crossy. It's crazy. Yeah. A lot of Mexican. Whipping out these huge fucking of, hogs around you. Yeah. Like, oh, that supposed to look like that? A lot of Mexican nightclubs that way. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I remember that. Like a trough, like line or that's an actual circle? It'd be like, it'd be like three rows of troughs. Oh, wow. So, I mean, and it's just And you just, just piss like, on either. Yeah, either end. Yeah. yeah. But dude, it, I mean, I'm not, you know self-conscious or or insecure about no you know my peace down there but i'm just like i like my privacy i like right not being able to see your fucking cock or right you, you know smelling like, your fucking coffee yeah, piss you just it's had a splash in me dude at dinner dude i don't want to smell that shit okay I think you're peeing all my but hand i like having the privacy wall yeah. there or or being able to i don't know like even urinals on their own are are fine Right. You know, because it's like you're not forced to. I mean, you're looking down at fucking your piss. Yeah. I don't know, dude. And I don't know how black. we jump from from <laughs> fucking wearing mask at a fucking restaurant to fucking pissing in a trough. trough yeah, well, that's what our podcast is. Is it trough or trot? I don't ask me. You're the writer, dude. Dude, I am the worst with grammar. What are you talking about? As a writer. Yeah, I probably sent you some short stories that are just like, what? The? You're probably like reading them like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You haven't sent me one for a long time, so. Well, you get back on that. I have like three that I haven't sent you, but I've only sent you a couple. But I don't know, man. Yeah, give it up, dude. No, I'm not giving it uh, up. Okay, I'm not giving it up. Well, I'm just here. I'm here for you either way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but no, it was nice getting to go eat out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't care for it. I'm not ready. I don't think. Really? Yeah. I'm not ready until it feels a little normal, but I'm going to a stand-up show on the 11th, so we'll see. Yeah, I think I want to join you for that. Do it, dude. It's going to be so I, much I fun. I asked my wife. And you know, homie CJ just texted me, and he said he bought for the 12th, oh, Friday. We sh- I should yeah. have asked him, too. Yeah, well, we should have done a lot of things, but we don't sometimes. That's true. And that it. doesn't make you a bad friend. Like, it was just homie's birthday, the other, or one of my homie's birthday, and I was like, hey, happy birthday, dude. And he's like, hey, happy, or thanks. I appreciate it, but uh, sorry for not being around so much. I was like, dude, that's fucking life. It's life, you know. It's like he every- never responded. No, he did. He's like, Thanks. no, you never responded. No, that's what I told him. I was like, uh, it's it's life. I wouldn't have responded to that text. Just been like, yeah. Well, that's pretty much what it was. It was like, a, yeah, thanks. Oh, uh, happy birthday. Yeah. Sure. But I'm saying it's like life is it's fucking life, dude. You got shit going on. I got shit going on. We should be doing things that we aren't doing. And I don't know, man. Wear your fucking mask, you asshole. Yeah. 
Jesus. And dude. yeah, you should come to that show. Anyways, um, everybody stay safe out there. Okay, I have to pee so bad. Do you? I do. Just pee in, a, pee in the bottle, dude. Pee in the, pee, pee in the can. I did, did that in a four local can one time, and I overfilled it. Really? Th- the it out, tomboy four loco. Threw it out the window. Huh? Threw it out the window. The tomboy four loco. Yeah. Damn. Your boy's got a bladder on him. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, it might come with a, some prostate well, also, issues. Well, also, dude, I just drank a four loco in the car. Of course, I have to pee. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Maybe you know. Allegedly. Yeah, well, stay safe out there, folks, and you know, thanks for listening. Yeah, amor y paz. Y paz.